Hey guys, welcome back to a brand new video today. I'm going to be showing you guys how to make a gear uh, pass, a game pass uh, on Roblox Studio. So let's get started. Now before guys, uh, I, want to, I want to quickly thank you guys so much for uh, 530 subscribers. It was amazing. Uh, we hit it so fast. Um, we're so close to 550. So if you guys are enjoying my videos, be sure to like it and subscribe. And let's get started. Now first off, you want to insert your tool. It could be anything. I just choose. I just chose a um, speed coil. It could be a sword, gun, even your own um, game, uh, even your own tools. Um, so once you're done that, you want to put your tool inside of server storage, because this is where we store all our things. It's called storage. Now for next, you want to insert a script inside of workspace. So it doesn't have to be named. And you just want to copy down the script that you have over here. Now, um, make sure your game is published. So it has to be published. It does not have to be public or private. Uh, so yeah, once you're done that, you want to go um, to, I want to show you guys two things basically. So one, over here, uh, you want to make sure this is your own ID. I'm going to be showing you guys how to make that game pass really uh, soon. Um, so once you're done that, once you guys want to do that, uh, you guys want to, uh, oops. All right. So you guys want to go here, and if you find on line 17, so speed coil. Now this is called speed coil. This, remember, this has to be exact name. That's over here. Now, if your tool has a space in it, get rid of that space. It doesn't really matter, but I feel like it makes it less confusing. Um, then after that, um, yeah, let's get started to making that game pass. So first off, you want to go to your browser. It could be any browser. You want to go to Roblox, and make sure your account is the exact same that is on Roblox Studio. So once you're done that, I'm going to go to create and you want to go to, uh, you want to find your game You want to click on setting icon and you want to click on create pass. Once you're there, you want to make your game pass. I already made one this morning. So I'm going to click on that configure. I'm going to go to sales and you want to set the price to whatever. Um, because by default, it's going to be like this. You want to just turn it on like that. Set a price, save it, make sure you save it. And then. You want to go to go uh, you want to click on go to details it's gonna say uh, item own because obviously you made it you own it um now you want to if you go to the url if you look at it real quick uh, you'll find a number if you find a few you'll find a few numbers you just want to copy those and you don't need uh, your browser anymore so you want to go here and you insert your uh, id now once you're done that you want to go and play the game now because I own the game pass it's going to say that obviously I own it I mean it's gonna like show that I um, so you can see it works too um, now after that what you guys want to do is uh, you want to go to now basically you're done this you're done the um, game pass now just to prove to you guys this isn't fake I'm just going to quickly uh, move this so I'm just gonna copy this and I'm gonna change the ID to something like this. All right, so let me just confirm this was the exact, so how many digits? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So this is two, four, six, eight. Yeah, okay, that's eight digits. And I'm just gonna change that. Now, obviously, because I don't own this game pass, it's not, it's gonna not show in my inventory. So as you can see, it's not in my inventory because I don't own the game pass. That's basically it for this video, guys. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Be sure to like and subscribe if you guys did enjoy. And I'll see you guys in the next video.